everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and today I want to get into showing you guys some new releases that will be coming April 23rd and some have already um, hit the Etsy shop. Also, I just want to check on everyone and make sure that everyone's doing well during this pandemic. Um, I know it's a little rough, but um, we're all in this together. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the um, stay home kit. This is what it looks like. This is what you get. This is a deco sheet. And then here is the self care sheet. And with this, it has your list of, um, you know, prompts here on the side, um, some little square boxes here and a little deco from the stay home kit here. And then I was going to print these for you guys, but the cardstock that I have is not the correct cardstock. Um, I just didn't want to, you know, give out this thin cardstock. So I'm just going to put it in a digital form. I've sent back cardstock that I've ordered, and it's very hard to kind of uh, choose cardstock now that you really can't go in stores. And I'm just doing um, post office, grocery store, and the drugstore if I need to go and get a prescription. Other than that, I don't go anywhere. So um, I was having no luck on the cardstock. So my personal cardstock is not that thick. So I'll just leave this in a digital form for you guys. And this one here says, how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. And it looks like that. This one says, make yourself a priority. I love this one. And there are a few curse words on here. So, you know, just don't cut the ones you don't want. Um, be kind and full of love, but have boundaries like a, okay. Self-care is giving the best of you instead of what's left of you. You can't pour from an empty cup. And as you can see, this one cut off. So may your vibe shift the whole damn room frequency of the room when you walk in. Okay, so these are my favorites. I did these in a weekend and I was just kind of trying to make something for myself, functional, that um, I see that I be wanting, but with the pandemic, it has my budget in a chokehold and I don't know what to do. So, oh, let me show you something else, you guys. So I was gonna do these because I have plenty of these, but um, it smudges, as you can see. So I don't know. So I'm thinking about printing these on vellum because my vellum is semi-thick. It's not as thick as I like it, but it's thick enough. Um, so that's what it is. And it says self-worth, the only <clears throat> one, excuse me, the only one who gets to decide your worth is you. It doesn't come from your bank account or the number of friends you have. It doesn't come from what someone else says you are worth. It's called self-worth for a reason. It comes from you. It comes from being yourself and being proud of who you are. The number, see a smudge, will change with time, but what won't change is who you are deep inside. Beautiful, limitless, wonderful, creative, strong, capable, and that is where your worth comes from. And that is by Nikki Bananas, I think. Banana, bananas, something like that. Okay, so here are the fun things. These are already in the shop. Um, we have these functional squares. They come in this tan nude color and this black color. And this sheet, let's do a little measuring. And I try to put the measurements in the description this time and I'm sure I probably forgot some. It's a little over three and a half. This should be two. I can't find my little tiny um, ruler. Yeah, and a little over two inches. And this is what they look like. Again, this is the tan. And if you've ordered my tan, um, the field boxes like these, they're around the same um, size as those. And then these are the black. And let me show you. They are transparent. 
I have an oops one over here, so I'm gonna show you with that one. If I can find it. And you may get one of these oops ones. So as you can see, these were the oops. So they are transparent. So I may be giving out some oops. I was gonna keep them for myself, but I just may be throwing them in as freebies. Next up, we have these Louis Vuitton inspired coffee cups. Um, it's gonna be a lot of coffee cups. I'm just gonna let you know, cause I love coffee. And um, I kind of designed it myself, just took a plain cup and then did that and added that there. And that's what they look like. And oh, I'm sorry, you get, um, that's five. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven. So you get 35 of these. And this sheet measures, let's move this stuff, put it back in the case. It's a little bit over four and a half. By a little over two and a half. So that's how big those sheets are. There's some more squares that are out of place. So as you can see, for once I got some inventory. And then I did the icon sheets. I actually have two. These were already released. At one point, um, I was giving these away and they were like in gold foil, but I didn't care for the gold foil because something about the paper, I don't know. Um, sometimes it would print right, sometimes it wouldn't. So you have two sizes and I'll probably be doing another one so it'll just be an add-on to what we already have and in this mini one you get like double of your icons and this one is just one icon a piece and they're cut in the circles okay let me measure this so on the mini it's um exactly like four and a half by a little less than two and a half. And this one is a little over four and a half by a little over three. So those are your icons. I'm gonna stop measuring. Um, it'll probably be listed in the um, information bar. And then I decided to do some Zoom meeting stickers because my family and I, we do Zoom family meetings and fun games and things like that. And so that's what made me decide to do the Zoom. I have some Zoom um, classes coming up that I'm taking. So um, I decided to make the Zoom stickers. They were gonna be for me, but then I decided, well, why not just um, share them? So here we go. These are just some functional Zoom black and white stickers. And then I have a coffee cup, a Raydon coffee cup and it says blessed on it. And I, when I was making the Louis Vuitton cup, I decided I wanted to make um, these. So these Ray Dunn inspired um, to go coffee cups. And one says coffee in quarantine, Jeremiah 2911. Duh, too blessed and blessed, deep breaths, me time, coffee, shh, and deep thoughts. So that's that. And then on to the dots. So the dots have different colors and different names. So this is smoke. This is what smoke looks like. Oh, let me make sure y'all can see. Okay, this is smoke. And these are transparent as well. Next we have blush. And this is what blush looks like. Again, they're all transparent. We have black. And I was making these because I had made some before that was really small and I like those. And I still may take these black ones and make them just a little bit smaller or all of them and just make them a little smaller. So these are the black. We have tangerine. I know I have extra tangerine. We have mocha. And then on to my favorite. Um, I wanted some, I love leopard animal print. I wanted some leopard dots. And um, I was like, let me try to make my own. 
and voila here we go so and here it'll say cherry but it's not um i've gotten let's see i got maybe three and three so once this little batch here is gone either i can keep them for myself um they will say the correct thing which is leopard but if you get something that says cherry on it they're fine they just missed um uh wrote on it so that's the black and white leopard and then here's the tan leopard and they're also transparent and cherry did we say cherry i think we did cherry and cherry is just the red dots and they've been offset so that way um your circle is complete you don't have to worry about any um out of the lines and then here are some plain coffee cups. These are like the first ones I did. I just wanted some basic coffee cups because I need, I put coffee in my planner every day and I just wanted some basic ones. So here they are. And they're also on transparent paper. You can get, I think there's an option on the site to get it on regular white paper, um, premium matte sticker paper or the transparent paper. And I think that is that. And so that's all from the new releases. So that is all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you can take a look down in the description bar and it will have my Etsy shop listed. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I would love to answer your questions and get back with you. If um, Let me know what was your favorite thing out of the collection that's coming out. Again, these are already out. All of these I put out yesterday which was Monday. Um, I'm in love with these functional stickers. I'm thinking of adding some more. So you may see some more pop up because when I need functional stuff, I just create it and then I just say, well, you know, why don't I sell it? So I wanted to be intentional with my um, releases. So I'm trying to hold off till the 23rd on this one and it may release a little early. The 23rd is my birthday, so I'm very excited about this one here. Um, this is printed on um, transparent paper, and this one is um, printed on laser paper. So let me know. I will see you guys later, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.